Taylor Swift appearing in court today facing the man she says groped her before one of her concerts. The two are locked in a multi-million dollar lawsuit over the allegations. And today, Taylor's mother took the stand to testify about her daughter's alleged trauma. Here's ABC's Clayton Sandell. Taylor Swift is used to performing for thousands of screaming fans as she did on her Red Tour. But this time, the only audience that matters is an eight-person jury. Now the legal bad blood between the pop star and former country radio DJ David Mueller is heating up. Today, Swift was back in a Denver courtroom for a third day, as seen in this sketch, facing the man she says groped her rear end at her concert four years ago. It's illegal, he said, she said. He's suing her, believing she's responsible for getting him fired. She's countersuing, alleging assault and battery. I don't think this case is going to be made or broken based on the fact that she's Taylor Swift. Some people like to punish celebrities. Some people are jealous of celebrities. It doesn't always help to be a celebrity in a high-profile case. Start at the front of the line. I don't know if I have enough for everybody. The scene outside this Colorado federal courthouse felt like one of her concerts. I'm Taylor Swift's biggest fan. Swifties lining up as early as 4 a.m. We're here from Utah, so we drove eight hours, got here, drove through the night, and then uh, called out sick from work. And then we're going to drive back right after the trial and be back at work tomorrow. Right. Let me know if you want both or just the morning. Some waiting five hours for a chance to grab one of only 32 seats in the courtroom in the orbit of one of the planet's biggest stars. Taylor has one of the most loyal fan bases in the entire world. Her fans <laughs> came out in droves to support her. Across from the courtroom, there is this adorable group of fans who have been making post-it notes um, supporting her, saying haters going to hate. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. The epic legal showdown for the Shake It Off singer all began on June 2nd, 2013. That's when Mueller, then the morning host at Denver Country Radio Station KYGO, took his girlfriend to a Swift concert and a brief meet and greet before the show, posing for this photo, later leaked to TMZ, now key evidence. So this photograph is, is a really unusual piece of evidence. Usually, sides are fighting about which evidence they want the jury to look at. Here, both sides say it's a good picture. Of course, he says, it shows that I'm not lifting her skirt, for example. Um, but she says, why would your hand be anywhere near my bottom? Swift claims Mueller intentionally reached under her skirt and groped with his hand an intimate part of her body in an inappropriate manner. Mueller admits he touched Swift's rib cage and arm, leaning in for that photo, but denied grabbing her backside. In her deposition, Swift says it was not an accident. It was completely intentional, and I have never been so sure of anything in my life. And neither is Taylor's mother, Andrea, who testified when she saw that photo, I knew something horribly wrong was going on, dramatically singling out Mueller today in the courtroom. He sexually assaulted her, that guy. Seeing her mom on the stands, it really makes you realize that Taylor is just like any other girl. She has a mom who loves her and wants to protect her and only wants the best for her. Andrea says Team Swift didn't report the incident to police because she didn't want it to define her daughter's life. You can understand why she might not want the publicity associated with making an allegation against a small-time radio disc jockey grabbing her on a photo lineup. Yesterday on the stand, Mueller took a grilling from Swift's attorney about a secret recording he made with his bosses the day before he was fired. Most of that two-hour file vanished, Mueller claimed when he says his cell phone was accidentally destroyed and his laptop ruined by spilled coffee. I wish we had the full recording, Mueller said. Swift's attorney countering, it would have shown whether you changed your story. The jury will never know. This case comes down to four basic questions. Her credibility, that picture, his credibility, and why did he destroy one of the critical pieces of evidence in this case? Mueller is suing for damages that could total $3 million, but for Swift, it's not about money. She countersued for just $1. Anything more the jury awards her, she says will go to charity. Taylor is showing women everywhere that whether you're rich or famous or just an everyday girl, you can fight this and stand up for yourself. The trial is expected to last nine days, where Swift will take the stand with her own style. She says using her own struggle to help others. For Nightline, I'm Clayton Sandell in Denver. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.